Hi all. In the previous couple of videos, we got a glimpse of the diversity of cells that exist. A general term for organisms, like humans, made of cells that have a membrane-bound nucleus is eukaryotic, characterized in the domain eukarya. Eukaryotic cells tend to be relatively large, tens to hundreds, sometimes even thousands of microns in diameter. Organisms made of cells that do not have a membrane-bound nucleus are called prokaryotic. Organisms in the, in the domain bacteria are made of prokaryotic cells. What's the other prokaryotic domain? Prokaryotic cells tend to be small, ranging from 0.1 microns to about 5 microns. So most prokaryotic cells are tens to hundreds of times smaller than eukaryotic cells. Regardless of which organism we're looking at, all cells have some characteristics in common, at least at some point in their lives. Let's look at those characteristics. One structure that all cells have in common is the cell membrane. Another name for the cell membrane is the plasma membrane. We'll discuss the cell membrane at length in the last of the Chapter 3 videos. For now, we'll just say that the plasma membrane is made of phospholipids and proteins. In fact, all cellular membranes, including the plasma membrane and others such as the nuclear membrane, are made of phospholipids and protein. The main function of the plasma membrane is selective permeability. Permeability means allowing things through. Selective permeability means that the membrane allows only certain things through. Another structure that's common to all cells is the cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is a gel-like fluid that fills the volume of the cell. Cytoplasm is mainly water, but there are many solutes, such as salts and enzymes, that are part of the cytoplasm too. So here's a quick question. Thinking back to lab module two, what are solutes? And what molecular characteristics do all cytoplasmic solutes have in common? The answers, remember, solutes dissolve in a solvent, in this case water. And all of the molecules that dissolve in water are charged, either ionic or polar. The cytoplasm is important in being the location for many of the chemical reactions that a cell performs. Ribosomes are another set of structures that are common to all cells. Ribosomes are made of rRNAs, or ribosomal RNAs, and proteins. Ribosomes are the sites of protein synthesis. Here's another quick question. Of the four classes of biological molecules, which is the most important? Well, good job if you answer proteins. As evidence of that, two out of the four structures that are common to all cells are devoted to protein production. Ribosomes are one. The fourth structure that is common to all cells is having at least one chromosome. Chromosomes are cookbooks filled with recipes to make proteins. So this is the second of four basic cellular structures devoted to protein production. Four structures, cell membrane, cytoplasm, ribosomes, and at least one chromosome. These are what define a cell as a cell. All cells have, or at least start out life, with all four of these structures. In the next couple of videos, we'll see the elaborations that different cells have uh, beyond those basic cell structures.